Hello, welcome to game four of the match. Uh, S. Sander versus Sporting Elijah. Um, Yin Games Finals. Uh, Sporting Elijah has taken a 2-1 lead in their first player here. So um, we'll see if uh, S. Sander is able to come back. Um, so we've got Thinning with Ratcatcher. Our village is Hunting Lodge. Um, thinning. So we were going to want to do some thinning. We're going to do some villages. I guess we can play with... I, I don't think we play with Baron, given we don't start with the states. Which leads us to, like, Mystic Legionary Payload. <laughs> Although Legionary is not particularly good against a deck that has a bunch of Hunting Lodges in it, right? Well, there's early... Yeah, you get a monument, monument hunting lodge, and I guess yeah. Given the given the rat, given the hunting lodge legionary attack is not particularly fearful. So a sounder gets a very nice. Um, Gets a very nice draw. They basically get a perfectly clean shuffle with the rat catcher in it and add a monument. Um, you know, it's like Sporting Lodge is going for monument stuff as well. Um, yeah, but they added Explode. Yeah. Um, who knows if that will ever, what will happen there. Um, I don't know that I particularly want to play. Maybe I want plus buy and then I'm going to trash the estates to rat catcher, but. I, I get the state. It's just tough to line it up, and then I'm getting estates. And um, so there's a question, Adriel, and one always struggles with this. This is one of the things. Dominion Camel Train is a little bit slow to actually get value out of, but it sort of has some scaling value as opposed to just buying single monuments every turn. If you Camel Train a monument, then yeah, then you could buy two, right? Uh, I I would have liked Camel Train and tried. Yeah, so if you basically you, you you the first camel train you buy does nothing, but then every time you play it you get two things for the cost of one, essentially. Greatly oversimplifying it, right? So it seems like this is like a spot right here whereas as Saturday they should add the camel train. Um and then, you know, whatever action they're gonna buy that turn, they can just buy two copies of. So they can buy two monuments or they can buy two hunting lodges in a turn. Um and if, if Sporting Lodge is only gaining one thing in a turn, then it seems like they're gaining stuff twice as fast. Yeah. I'm playing the monument VP here. Might actually matter. So more hunting lodges, more mm. monuments is good. So if you have a deck with five monuments and five hunting lodges, oh, I don't like that pass. They get one VP, but they have this pretty sad turn. Um, Sporting Lodge are going for the early provinces. If you could just have a deck with, you know, five, six Hunting Lodges and five Monuments, you just, like, basically, or six Hunting Lodges and six Monuments, you basically get a province worth of VP every turn, and you're not adding stop guards to your deck. That seems pretty nice. Um, I think it should be province in, yeah. And then, I wonder if that deck can... Well, that deck definitely wants to play with Camel Train, though, because you gain those cards faster. Yeah. And then... Yeah, late in the game, you can buy one... One, uh... Once you've gotten a bunch of Sages, too, you can just buy one. I mean, honestly, that deck just piles Hunting Lodges by me. It's like Rat Catchers or something, I think. That deck doesn't really need to score with Vineyards. It's doing so well. Um, the key there is the Hunting Lodge split, right? As you mentioned a while ago, you have to have... Villages to make it work. So this is a spot already where, like, at Sporting Elijah, you can consider using the villager. Yeah, it's not doing you a ton of ton of value, so you might as well uh, spend it when you can actually get a little bit of value out of it in terms of playing one before the draw. But it feels like a sounder is thinner, and they're deck should be better. They can discard five here, get to the end of the shuffle, play the monuments. And honestly, it's just like keep adding monuments. Um, it doesn't, doesn't make much... 
it requires some discipline to be like, I'm going to let my opponent get to four or five provinces before I get one. But when your deck is basically golden monument deck, I think you're okay with that, um, with that split. This is a somewhat awkward draw, but I think we have to discard and hope to not bottom deck that monument. Otherwise, we're top decking two bad cards. Um, and Sporting Lodge is sort of committed to not building more. And as Sounders just got a lot more monument points, it looks like. By the end, they're just going to have a huge lead in the monument points. When do you spin here with the Hunting Lodges? I guess now that you've drawn the Monument, you don't. But there's a, some thought to to uh, discarding early there to trigger the shuffle with the extra Hunting Lodges in it. They did. On in there. They did bottom 10 mm -hmm. when they shuffled there, so it's nice for the next turn. Yeah, but we're seeing the advantage to having two extra Villages and uh, as Sounders able to play Monuments, more Monuments every turn, which means... They have six more VP for Monument plays. So even though, you know, Spring Lodge actually has an extra duchy and they're tied in provinces, um, Sounders just got a huge lead here. Honestly, I don't know that they need to take the hunt. They just take another Hunting Lodge. Or like Exploration. That was a spot right there with the two where they could take X blow. Although we're seeing, you know, still we haven't thinned all of our coppers and we're adding green cards. So we're more likely to have some unlucky draws. And that was a pretty unlucky draw from S Sounder, but. Yeah, but I mean, like with a deck like this, when you have a couple green cards, it can get a lot worse. Yeah. So we said at, we're, we're sort of daring Sporting Elijah to get more than like seven provinces. It just seems really tough for them. Yeah, for sure. Um, this is the exact spot where shuffle management's important, and if you don't discard there, you're in a lot of trouble. Um, this one seems less clear. I think you... Like it? I think you can discard there. I think yeah. either way is fine. Uh, and don't play this age. I guess they had another Honey Lodge, so it didn't matter. Money anymore. Yeah. So. Monument? I don't know. <laughs> this is why we, instead of this duchy, I want we wanted monuments and hunting lodges, right? Um, either if anything. Yeah, I mean farmland turning a state turning copper into rat catcher seems possible. Duchy seems bad though. Farmland is really tough to line up with six money, right? Because you're spinning so much. Oh my gosh. I hope they don't take a state. A state seems much worse than taking Ratcatcher here. Okay. Yeah, we're just seeing these the decks draw to X not, you know, rat catcher slow thinning and we're seeing kind of what we expected to happen. If S. Sander said, I'm never going to buy a green card, I'm just going to play monuments every turn. I think they would currently have as much or more VP than they have right now. And Sporting Logic would still have the same amount of VP because they haven't hit eight. They're not province dancing. I don't think they've hit eight since, uh, since the provinces have gone down to two. I think you spin here Making sure, scary making sure the last hunting lodge gets in there. Um, yeah, you still can't. I mean, I guess you can trigger this, but it's it's still you you get your top decking a couple of bad cards. I guess you're only top decking two bad cards. And well, I mean, you could just prop here, I guess, as a sounder. I 
or you could spin and then buy farmland and farmland into prov. That does that's the same thing, right? Most likely. Um, Yeah, JH, I think our, our thought was you never green here. You just pile the honey lodges and monuments and you gain basically a province worth of VP every turn. And maybe your opponent lowers the provinces to one and you buy the last one to win. Something like that. Maybe you pile out camel trains or you lower something sages, rat catchers with camel trains along the way and you grab a potion just for a big influx near the end. Um, so... Yeah, I think we net, we, un we untop decked one bad card, we had three bad cards, and we went to two bad cards with that line. So, yeah, as Sanders in a pretty commanding position, they do still have to, you know, play a couple of monuments every turn, but it seems difficult. It seems hard to imagine Spring Lodra getting to where the one province by would win them the game. Sounders plays more monuments per turn anyway, on average. Yeah, and they have a lot more villages as well, which makes a difference. Although they can they afford eight anymore? See, I, 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 I don't know if they have the, the, the farmland, which they have to draw somehow. Um, yeah, these is on the bottom. <laughs> I think it's guaranteed now. Yeah, if they spin here. Yeah, if they spin here, there's a monument. By spin, I mean, yeah. Activate that you may discard your hand for plus five cards. Um, okay, so that's a win for S. Sounder. We're tied again at two, moving on to game five.